Regulated. Mechanical. Regulated. Mechanical. All right, we need to settle this. All right, let's go. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, welcome to another edition to Vaping with Empire. I'm, uh, I'm Chapman. I am Chapman. Oh, you and... never get it right. You're Hunter. Oh, I'm I'm Hunter. He is Hunter. And um, so what are we talking about today? Today, Nick? we're talking about regulated versus mech mods. Uh, and we're basically going to go over the pros and cons of both, uh, what we vape, uh, why you should buy a regulated mod over a mechanical mod. Mechanical. And why you should buy a mechanical mod over a regulated mod. So, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. What are you vaping on right now? Uh, I am vaping on a copper able setup. Uh, the juice is Red K by Main Vape Co. Signature Series Lines. It's a strawberry cereal bar, and it is to die for. Nice. I'm vaping on the uh, Relo. It's a RX200, the original RX200, nice. uh, with a Cleto 120 on the top of it. And I'm vaping Far's uh, Neon Red Slushy. And it's uh, delicious, not to mention they have really nice swag, too. Oh, wow. God, I love the swag. So, uh... We're going to dive down with Chappie, take a look at some regulated mods, and I'll see go you there. from there. So, what's a regulated device? Uh, a regulated device allows you to customize your settings uh, for a particular type of vape that you want to get. Uh, I like regulated devices because they're really safe. They have a computer chip normally inside of them that allows you to dictate power. Uh, it allows you to, if you have a short circuit, put it this way, it won't fire. If, it, if you drain your batteries too quickly, it won't fire. If the device gets hot, it won't fire. There's a lot of safety in these types of devices. Uh, normally, if you're a newer vapor or someone that has never owned a mechanical mod before, I would always recommend these first just for that reason. Um, let's talk about uh, wattage versus temp control. Uh, wattage is essentially how you dictate power on most of your uh, regulated devices. Uh, this Relo right here does 0 to 200 watts, and I can dictate that by just going up and down depending on what type of tank I have on it. Uh, temperature control is used for certain types of wire. Uh, for instance, titanium, nickel, stainless steel can all be used in temp control to really give you the type of ramp up, ramp down, or vapor quality that you want. Uh, I like regulated mods, besides the fact that they're safe, is that a lot of them hold a lot of batteries. Uh, this one right here holds four, the Relo RX 300. Uh, the Snow Wolf, I believe the 218 holds three batteries as well, and the Relo holds three batteries as well. So when I'm on the go or in the car and I don't want to drip and drive, this is my baby that I take with me. Uh, I also like regulated devices because a lot of them uh, have the ability to charge the batteries in them as well. So let's just say I was on, you know, in another state somewhere and I didn't have my charger on me. A lot of times I can plug this in, give it a charge, and keep on going. So that's why I like regulates a lot. Uh, so what else do we have? Uh, most regulated devices you'll find are really, really good with a tank. Uh, some come in kits just like this one right here that have a tank already on them. Other ones you can put a tank or a dripper on. But you'll find that if your device doesn't have enough power to push the build that's inside of that dripper, you're really not gonna get a whole lot of vapor quality, so you're gonna wanna go to a tank. And I mean, for the most part, that's about it. Uh, I like this one right here only because it's safer it gives me a great on-the-go vape, and and I mean, I don't know what Hunter's going to tell you right now, but I like these a lot better. So uh, let's see if I can turn to Hunter right now, and he'll talk about those me uh, mechanical mods. Now let's take a look at some mechanical devices. What is a mechanical device? A mechanical device is basically a device that you cannot regulate the power based off of just hitting a button. There is no safeties built into play of computer chips or anything like that. To change the power, you have to change your build. Uh, it, normally, a single tube will run off of 4.2 volts because that is the voltage of an 18650 battery. There is some devices, such as these guys right here, that will change that. All depends on what they're running, if it's parallel, series, or just a single tube. That will change the power and what you're really going to want to build at. But why would you want to build lower? Lower than a 0.1 that a normal regulated mod will usually cut off at. It's usually to give you more vapor production, uh, better flavor because of the more heat that you're going to be able to get out of the coil. So, I mean, in perspective, you can have this Cherry Bomber. That's a lot of vapor production. In my opinion, I love that. So, basically, there's different types of unregulated devices. There's boxes, these guys, and there's single tubes. 
and their single tubes are split up into non-hybrid and hybrid devices. Hybrid devices are basically devices that are going to have a direct connection from the battery to the atomizer via the 510 connection. And in a regular hybrid, there's going to be a pin, or not a lack of a pin, going through here. And basically, you're going to want to have a pink insulator. A peak insulator is an insulator that has no conductivity at all. Also, you're going to want a protruding 510 pin, such as a battle deck, a Tugbo V2, a Kennedy. A lot of different things have that capability, but some things don't. Tanks. You don't want to run tanks on an unregulated device because that will cause dangers because it doesn't have the peak insulator. It doesn't have the um, extended 510 connection to actually properly make the connection to the battery. So now that we've taken a look at everything, let's go back up and vape them all. <sighs> so uh, I want to make something straight with you guys, okay? If you own a mechanical device and you want to build lower than what a regulated device lets you, Consult a professional. I, I honestly say don't do it. Me and Hunter are both trained professionals. Um, just because we do it doesn't mean you should. And if you want to try something like that and you don't have the right equipment or you don't know what you're doing, it could be very hazardous to your health. So always check with a professional like me. Like us. Like one of us before you do so. So now that we said that, I got to come clean about something. We got to tell you something. These are my mods right here. These are what I vape. This is my Ruby 25 by Kennedy. This is my Masterpiece Vapes Cherry Bomber. And this is a E-Leaf Eye Care that I keep with me at all times. Because it's like my little sneak of vape. Um, I like my unregulated mechanical devices because... Clouds, bro, clouds. And I like to drip. And I like to build. Uh, I also like them because they're really, really pretty. And they're, they're easy to use. Uh, there are risks involved. Absolutely. But again, professional, semi-professional. What are you vaping? I vape uh, normally when I'm on the go and I really don't have time to drip and pay attention to things. I'm using my RX200 with my Cleto 120. Uh, I get great flavor off of this and it's great for battery life. I don't have to worry about refilling it because I can fill the tank and it will last me like an hour, an hour and a half, two hours. Yep. And I can just go on and be on my merry way. That's why I like the eye carry because it's small, it's compact, it's cheap. I can have it in my watch pocket at all times. If I want to take a couple of drags, stay in the car, no problem. Hmm. But for the most part, when I'm at work or I'm, you know, I'm hanging around with this guy right here, I'm vaping a mech. Mm. straight up and when i do have time and i'm not so much all over the place like i tend to be sometimes and uh, i will vape a mechanical device a single tube i vape my able um, i love this thing i get great flavor great vapor production um nice hot build and that's what i prefer because i know how to do it yes. when i have the time to pay attention to it i can do it properly and like i said if you wonder what's safe remember we just did a video on battery safety like over there so check that out first before you decide to do something stupid because I tell you right now, I like I like having these. Mm. Do you like having yours? I thought you had a stub. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining us again. Uh, make sure you check us out on Facebook. Facebook, uh, Instagram. Empire Vape, yep, Empire Vape Shop. Uh, Twitter, Empire Vape Shop. Yep, uh, let's see, uh, Snapchat, Empire Chappie. Empire Hunter. And yeah, and remember, in less than a thousand days, your right to vape is going to be extinct. So do us a favor, go to kasad.org, sign up, become a member, do a call to action, because now more than ever, we need you to, to keep, keep it, it cloudy. cloudy. Take care.